All right, we have a very exciting video today. We're gonna to be talking about how to create awesome glow effects right here inside of After Effects using the built-in tools to help you produce really awesome work to make your titles, logos, or any other graphics stand out with some really nice glow effects. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So we're gonna give a handful of glow techniques from this video. You can use one or all of them for any type of project you're working on. So just watch through this video and pick what techniques will work best for your future projects. And it's gonna be a fun tutorial, easy to follow along with. And you can download our project files for free if you wanna follow along with our tutorial. So without wasting more time, let's jump in and let's get started on our glow techniques. Okay, so here we are in After Effects and let's get started. So we're gonna have our tutorial composition. All we have in here is a title typed out. It's a nice and skinny title. And the first thing you wanna do when you have a title typed out, a logo, whatever you're doing, we're always gonna to wanna to go to layer, pre-compose, and we'll call it placeholder. This way we can easily update it later non-destructive workflow. All right, so our first technique, we gotta create the glow effect and get it started. So we'll go to effect, perspective, and we're gonna grab something called drop shadow. Now it's not the glow effect, but we can do some cool things here. So first we can change our shadow color to whatever color we want our glow effect to be. So I'll do a nice blue there. And let's set our distance to zero. And then let's come here to the softness and set this up to 20. And then we're gonna take the drop shadow effect and then we'll go to edit, duplicate. So we'll have a duplicate of it and we'll set the softness of the bottom effect down to 80 or up to 80. So you'll have a very slight glow effect to it and it's just gonna help this effect a lot more. So now we'll go to effect stylize and we'll add the glow effect. So this looks really nice, but I wanna be able to really punch up the color of our glow effect because I'm sure you're gonna to wanna to do that as well. So what we're gonna do is come here to glow colors and set this to A and B colors. Come here to color looping and set this to sawtooth B greater than A. This is where you go to color A here and we can select that original blue and then you come here to like glow intensity and set that up to two. Then what we'll do is we'll take our glow effect and we can duplicate it. So we'll have a copy of it and it's nice and large like this. And we can increase the glow threshold just by a little bit. Let's come here to the glow radius and set this up to like 90. And now we'll have a pretty strong glow effect around our entire uh, title or logo, whatever you're working with. So that is nice. One other thing I like to do is come here up to effect, blur and sharpen and grab a CC radial blur. And I'll set the type to a centered zoom. And this will fall into our second technique, which we're gonna start being able to animate the glow and not necessarily have this glow as a static effect. So what we're gonna do is take the amount here and add a keyframe for it. And we'll move forward in our timeline, maybe like a second, and we'll set the amount up to like, to like a reasonable amount of like say 20. And this will kind of just glow out the edges. And I think that looks super nice. Then what we're gonna do is grab our placeholder and hit U on our keyboard. And we're gonna all click the stopwatch. We're going to type in an expression. We're going to type in a loop out, capital O, just like that. Do open parenthesis and quotation. And then we're going to type in ping pong, just like this. Make sure your expression looks exactly like how mine looks. So what's going to happen that this glow effect is going to be animating in from the sides. And this is just a little optional effect that you can apply if you want to have some endless uh, you know, animation to your glow effect. Now I want to expand on the second technique and add just a little bit more animation to some of the other parameters here really easily. So for example, let's come into our glow intensity and I'll click stopwatch for that and we'll type in wiggle, open parenthesis, two comma, two close parenthesis, and this will just animate that slightly, might not be noticeable, but let's go ahead and come here to the drop shadow two and we'll all click stopwatch for opacity. And we'll type in wiggle again, open parenthesis, and we'll type in two comma 30 and just like that, close that off. So now we will have a constant glow effect here on our title. So it's just not a static effect and it just looks really nice as if something is actually happening within our title. That's awesome. All right, so I want to expand on our glow effect with our third technique a little bit more and add a little bit of multicolor variation to it uh, with a little bit of RGB splitting. So we'll take our title placeholder, go up to layer, pre-compose, and we'll call it glow effects. Move all attributes to new comp, click OK. Then we'll go to effect, channel, and we're gonna grab it, shift channels. And we'll set the green to full off and the blue to full off. And we'll duplicate this composition and we'll set the red off and turn the green back on. Duplicate the comp one more time, turn off the green and turn the blue back to blue. And we'll take our two top layers here, toggle switch to the modes until you see the blend modes and set it to screen. Boom, okay, so what we're gonna do here is come here to like say the middle layer, hit PNG board for position, and we can just offset this by a few points. And this will just create like a very subtle color split. And then we come here to the top layer, hit PNG on our keyboard again, 
and we'll all click the stopwatch for position and we'll type in wiggle uh, open there and we'll do like maybe a two comma five so just like that you'll have a very nice subtle soft you know rgb split that's so subtle but it has a nice touch to our overall glow effect and it's just mm, it's beautiful and before we move further into our next technique i want to give a huge shout out to our 500 motion graphics starter pack template right here inside of after effects so this is our motion graphics starter extension where we can preview hundreds of elements just by hovering over them inside of after effects within any after effects project and we have hundreds of titles accent motion graphics animated backgrounds and more within this one pack and when we find an asset that we want we can just click on apply and it automatically applies a title animation to our composition, which we can go into and easily change out our titles. And we can come into our control layer and make any adjustments to help fit our title best and easily change the color of any elements and titles very easily. And to help enhance this even further, we can come here and apply a quick cluster to take this to the next level with a click of a button. So within about a minute's worth of time, we've been able to put together a full composition with some really nice details very quick with our motion graphics starter pack and we have several other packs that we can easily switch over to and start applying templates from there as well so if you want to save a tremendous amount of time and produce awesome work you can take a look at our motion graphics starter pack along with several of our other motion graphic packs for after effects and premiere pro off our website i will link them below if you do pick up anything you will be supporting our channel so thank you very much things are looking pretty good and i want to expand on this effect even more on our fourth technique which is creating this floor atmosphere look to our glow effects so we're gonna go ahead and do that right now so we'll come here to our tutorial comp we'll grab all of our layers that we just created it will pre-compose it again and we can call this rgb glow and click ok all right so let's go ahead and let's create this nice reflection so we can do this by dragging in say like a background so so this will be in a project download but you kind of just need some sort of texture some sort of random you know photo right so we'll go ahead and bring this in here and we'll come here and make our texture here a 3D layer. And we'll hit R on keyboard for rotation and set the X rotation to 90 degrees. Then we'll hit P on keyboard for position. We'll bring down the Y position a little bit here. And we get S on keyboard for scale. And we can scale this up to where, you know, we don't have any edges here. So that's good. And we'll move it up just a little bit more. Scale it up. Get in the right spot. All right. So then what we'll do is we'll take our floor layer, pre-compose it, and we'll call it floor move all attributes to new composition click OK and then what we'll do is we'll turn it off go to layer new adjustment layer and we'll just call it blur and then we'll take our RGB glow layer we'll duplicate it put it above the adjustment layer and then we'll grab the original RGB glow layer that's below the adjustment layer we'll bring it down below the other one go to layer transform and we'll click on flip vertical just like that beautiful and now we'll come here to our adjustment layer that we created go to effect blur and sharpen and add a compound blur and set your blur layer to the floor layer make sure that floor layer is turned off and you can always bring down the glow layer by a little bit if you're getting a little harsh edge and you can always adjust the maximum blur and mess with the invert blur to get a different look I really like maybe something like this it doesn't really matter too much we can keep it subtle it's up to you and just to expand on this even more, because we're getting a lot of banding with our glow effect, what I like to do is create another adjustment layer and go up to effect, noise and grain, and just add a noise effect. I'll set this up to like 8%, uncheck use color noise, and that will help with banding and make it seem a little bit more authentic. Now, another quick little thing that we could apply here to add just a little bit more atmosphere to our scene, because I know uh, people will ask about this. So I have this window beam asset here that we can use as an overlay. I will link a free pack of this in the description so you can follow along. I'm gonna bring this underneath our new adjustment layer and I'll scale this down. And I'll set the blend mode of this to say screen. And then I'll change the color by going to effect color correction curves. And I'll come here to red channel. I can bring that down, come here to the green channel. You know, kind of shift this to this color palette that we're working with, go to the blue channel and kind of finish this off exactly how I need it to be and you know that's cool I'll move this layer forward in time because it gets more intense that's cool I can set down the opacity and then I'll take this layer I'll duplicate it go to layer transform uh, flip horizontal and I can always just play with the opacities with these and boom very nice look there and of course with our top noise adjustment layer we can go to effect color correction curves and just create a slight s curve here to darken out the scene 
and that's nice. And for those of you interested on how we created the flicker effect of our title, just go into that title layer, open it up, go to animate, and you can just add an opacity, set the opacity down to 0%. And we'll open up our range selector, set this up until only, like, only one word is missing. So 74% in my case, go to the advanced tab. We'll set randomize order to on and we'll come here to random seed. We'll all click the stopwatch and we'll type in time asterisk say five. And this will have a random flicker to our title. So we'll go back into our main composition and now that will apply to everything that we've worked on. And when it's all said and done, we have a really cool glow effect here with a lot of different layers composited together to make this look really awesome. So that is our tutorial on these glow effects right here inside of After Effects. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and insightful and something that you can use for your future projects. So if you did enjoy this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are below. And always be creating.